Okay, we're here on the Treasure Coast in Fort Pierce, and I'm with my nephew, Chris Gallagher, and we're gonna see if we can get some sand fleas. Uh, Chris is a great Pompano fisherman, and we often fish together. It's a little rough out there today, but I saw a lot of fleas yesterday, so I'm hoping we can get some, and we'll get some footage. I'll try to get a little bit of footage on what they look like, too, on the beach. Let's see if we can get some. Okay, here's a great video that Chris took of what it looks like to see these fleas showing. Uh, watch these waves as they go back, and that's when you're going to spot them. You're going to see a little extra foam, and then once the foam dissipates, you're going to see the dimples, the fleas themselves, just below the surface. There's some right there. There's the dimples. Those are all fleas. And this one's good just showing the dimples here. All these dimples here at the bottom are fleas, but wait till this next wave, this 40 second mark, you're going to see a big raft of fleas. Okay, right after this wave recedes, and there they are. That is one huge raft of fleas right there. And what you're going to do is, you're standing here watching this, you're going to wait for that wave to get about 10 feet above it, then you're going to run in. So by the time you get your rake in there, you know, that wave is just going to be going through that. You know, and that way it, the, the, the water isn't too deep. You don't want to get it too deep when you're out there. They'll scatter too quickly and you'll miss them. Uh, you might only get a few where if you wait until the wave is really thin and only an inch or two of water, uh, by the time your rake's in there, you're going to catch more. Another trick I like to use too is a lot of times the waves aren't coming straight in and straight out. You know, uh, you'll find a wave, uh, if there's a little bit of a bowl here, the wave will come in from your left and then it'll roll around to the right. So when I run in there to get my fleas, I'm going to take my fl uh, flea rake and I'm going to put it off to the right, you know, and uh, that way my water is rushing right towards the opening of the rake. And I'll even shuffle my feet sometimes a little bit if I know I'm in a, a huge raft of fleas and that'll knock them out of there and go right into your rake. So that's what they look like uh, when you're going after them. Well, there it is, right there, the first pompano of the year. I don't think it's 11 inches, but we'll let it go back to sea and let it grow up. Oh yeah, <laughs> you got quite a few. That was a good one. We'll take us along. That's cool. Okay, well, let's see the results. We got ourselves uh, 
hundreds of these bad boys and it didn't cost us a nickel. You probably got about $300 with the sand fleece here if you go to Bass Pro Shops. So we're going to take and cook them up and we'll be able to use them the whole season. We're going to we're going to make sure we have a video on cooking them too. This is the uh, this is the rake you would buy at a store. This is what I was using. And this behemoth over here is what Chris was using. And trust me, this thing caught 80% of the fleas we got because when they go to scatter, they have less places to go. And you don't even have to drag it through the sand, you know, as you saw in the video. So that's going to do it. Uh, that concludes our video for now, and we'll pick it up when we start cooking these things and show you how to cook them properly. Okay, we're back at the ranch, and we're cooking the fleas. And uh, I've got a little uh, electric hot plate here. And, uh, you know, usually all you got to do is keep dropping that bag in. And Chris recommends that, you know, you only need about, uh, about a minute or so. And they'll start turning pink and just keep dipping them. And then after he gets done, we're going to put them on this paper over here and let them dry out. And they're not going to freeze or burn once we spread them out on the paper. And uh, then we'll put them in baggies after they cool off. We got the whole gang. We got one of my biggest fans over here. Huh? Right here, Samantha. Hi. But uh, <laughs> anyways, we dump them on the newspaper. And you can see they got a nice pink to them. And we let them, uh, we let them drain, we let them cool off, and then we bag them. Otherwise, we get too much condensation. And Chris <laughs> says when, uh, when we're on the beach, if we, if we bring the bags to the beach without doing this, you're going to end up with big chunks of ice, and you won't be able to separate them. So they're, uh, as Chris would say, they're going to be just like M&Ms when we pull them out of the bag. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, we're on the third batch, and uh, after they've cooled down and dried off a little, we'll throw them in these small sandwich bags, and then we'll uh, make sure we put all the smaller bags in the large storage bags so our wives don't kill us. And then we'll be done. We're ready to fish with uh, our frozen sand fleas. Okay, here's a few supplies you're going to need uh, to cook these fleas. And, you know, and keep in mind that uh, I'm sure there are fishermen out there that will say, well, you know, using cooked fleas aren't as good as live fleas. And there's a lot of uh, truth to that. Um, you know, live fleas, uh, they obviously have a little movement to them, and uh, they stay on the hook better when you cast them. But the truth of the matter is, is deep into the season, the fleas may not be showing. So what do you do then? You know, you're, you're, you're subject to using uh, cooked fleas. So that's why it's important that we show this video so you can get stocked up before that cold season comes in and you uh, have nothing to use. But these bags here uh, come in really handy. You know, the, this site, uh, Amazon uh, site, uh, has different colors. And, you know, they're, they're reasonable. You, know, you don't need a bunch. I mean, I would probably get a couple, three. But uh, And they're also great on the beach. Let's say you got your rake and you're catching fleas and you want to put them in something. Well, you don't want to keep them in a bucket with water. They'll drown. Uh, and you don't want to just put them in a bucket without water because uh, the urine they produce, it, it'll kill them quicker. So what I like to do is I like to put them in this bag. And then I'll, uh, I'll dig a little hole in the sand with my foot and drop them in there and then cover the bag with sand so the top is just sticking out. And uh, what that's going to do is that's going to keep them a lot healthier. And then at the end of the day, uh, you know, you could put them in a bucket with sand and uh, maybe throw a, a little bit of ice on the top. And th they'll keep for one day. Uh, doubtful. They'll keep for more than uh, three days, probably two's max. You know, they'll start turning black. The other thing you're going to need is some way to cook them outside. I wouldn't do it inside. You know, you start spilling this uh, mole crab juice in your kitchen and your wife will kill you and it'll stink to high heaven. So, uh, you know, this this looks like a good one here. It looks like it's Amazon's choice and it's $19.99. So, anyways, uh, that's enough about the products you're going to need. And... Uh, we can wrap up this video. Okay, 
There is the finished product. 18 bags of sand fleas. We use a very scientific method. We, we use two scoops for each baggie. So a lot of sand fleas there. That'll carry us for a while. And uh, remember, when you're cooking them, don't try to go super red like you're cooking a lobster. Chris says you want to make sure there's a little brown in them because if you overcook them, what's going to happen is when they thaw out, they're just going to go to mush. The shell will be too soft. So that's important. The other thing we want to talk about too is, is make sure you go out and get your fleas early in the year. You know, this is uh, the first week of November and I'm on the Treasure Coast. So if you wait too long, you're going to miss the run. It starts getting too cold and you're not going to get those fleas in those big rafts. So that'll do it. You know, have yourself a sand flea party and have some company over. You'll have lots of help. And that'll do it for this video, and we'll talk to you later.